my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here and I have used all the products that I received in my July fab bag. I did use the Iorma Spa face wash and daily scrub before this and I must say I really like both of them and I want to suggest something to you. If you're using a face wash, try to rub it into your skin for at least 30, 20 or 30 seconds because that's when you get the overall effect of the face wash. I think both of these products will be good for you if you're looking for slightly mild products. Um, this is a daily scrub. It's definitely not as exfoliating and abrasive as many other scrubs that I have. It has very tiny, small abrasive particles. So if you are someone who is into um, strong physical scrubbing and you want to feel the effect of a scrub and scrub actually working with big large granules, this does not have that. Um, but if you are someone who likes mild scrubs and if you want to scrub for every day then this would be great because this is something that you can use every day since it is not as abrasive as other scrubs the scrubbing particles are really really tiny in this then i went ahead and washed my face with this and i must say these products together are brightening and they make your face appear nice and bright if you have tan skin or if you want to get rid of your tan this might help you with that so without further ado let's get into the tutorial Okay, so I'm going to start by priming my eyes with this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is one of my favorite products to prime my eyes with. It just makes your eyeshadows last forever and you don't need to use an actual eyeshadow primer when you're using this concealer. It just evens out my eyelid. And then I'm going to set it with my powder and that is the Chambord Silver Shadow Compact. And I just don't like the surface to be tacky so I just like to set it with powder. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and I am just putting it all over my eyelid to create a nice base for other shadows to blend in. And that is Frappe that I am just putting in my crease because I want the other shadows to blend into Frappe and this just creates a really nice transition shade for other eyeshadows. Now blending it with another blending brush, this is the MAC 224. Going in with Coco Bear, I am just going to intensify the crease a little more with MAC 217. This is my favorite brush of all time and this is also my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadow. It is just a reddish brown and I really really like how this defines my crease. So I'm just putting it right in my crease and I'm not focusing on the outer V. I want it to be in my crease because I'm kind of going in for, I'm kind of going for a little more cut crease look, not a very defined smoky or outer V kind of look. So I'm just going to blend that in again. Guys, you don't know how much I blend. I probably spent two hours blending in eyeshadows. Then with a little bit of mocha and an angle brush, I'm just going to put it in my crease, directly in my crease as you can see because I want that crease to be really sharp and really, really defined. Taking a little bit of frappe on the 217, I am just going to blend it and make it slightly less harsh. And then taking a little bit of peach smoothie on the 224, I'm just going to blend the whole thing. How many times do I say the word blend in a video? Then with this Makeup Geek After Glow pigment, this is like the star of the show. This is a beautiful, beautiful pigment. As you can see, it's a really nice champagne gold shade. And I'm just going to put it on my lid and I'm going to put it all over my lid, even in the outer corner because I want that crease to be defined and I want my lid to be really, really light and beautiful looking. And this is an amazing champagne shade, as you can see. So I'm just going to wet my brush, as you saw, and that just helps pick up more product. And I'm just packing it on my lid. Now taking Frappe, I'm just going to blend it into my crease. So there are no harsh edges. And with the 217, I'm just going to blend the whole thing. Now with this Lotus Color Kit Kajal, this is my favorite Kajal of all time. I'm just going to create a nice thin line on my upper lash line, close to the lashes. And it's a really smooth, nice liner. This is one of the best liners, best kajal in that, best kajals in that price range, like within 200, 250. 
Now I'm going to use this sugar, I told you so, eyeliner that I got in a fab bag. I have to say I'm extremely impressed with this liner. It lasts all day on me and the nib is actually so pointed that you can create an amazing winged liner with this and it's, it's actually pretty easy to create a winged liner with this. As you can see, I'm just pulling on my eyelid. Don't pull on your eyelid every day. I just don't put makeup every day, so it's okay for me because I don't wear makeup every day. Um, but I like to pull my eyes when I pull my eyelid on the side when I'm putting eyeliner on because it just makes it a lot easier and then the wing does not cut, even in the crease. So I'm just sharpening it up. As, as you saw, the nib was really, really pointy and it's really easy to create a wing with that. So I'm just curling my eyelashes now with this Calabar eyelash curler and applying mascara. This is Maybelline The Falsies. I'm not gonna spend too much time on showing how I put mascara on because <laughs> looking at that hair, uh, because I have a whole tutorial up on my eyelashes. So I will just link it down below or if you're on a smartphone or a tablet, I will also have the link in the description box. And now I'm going in with Maybelline The Colossal because it's a really nice volumizing mascara. You can just go watch my whole tutorial on my eyelashes. How to get long voluminous eyelashes. Now I'm just gonna clean up any fallout that may have fallen down onto my cheeks. Um, whenever you're using a pigment, it usually falls down. And then I'm gonna put some eye cream that the makeup wipe took away because I really like using eye cream. Then using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. My mother has dry skin, she loves it, I have oily skin, I love it. It works really really well for both of us. As you can see, I am blending it in and buffing it really really well into the skin. I like to create a really nice thin layer with foundation, I don't like it to be cakey. I like to layer the foundation into a very very... Um, spread it out into a very very thin layer so this is the kind of foundation that you can wear out in the sunlight and it won't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup so once you're done with that you want to pull the brush down to avoid any peach fuzz and that way your foundation is gonna sit really really well on your skin Then going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I am just going to highlight under my eyes. And this concealer is one shade lighter than my skin tone, which is why I like to use it for highlighting. And I'm just going to put it under my eyes using the same brush. I'm going to buff it and create a nice thin layer. This concealer can look a little bit cakey if you don't apply it well or if you apply a large amount of it. And it is also slightly drying, which is why I put a heavy eye cream under it. So I'm just going to highlight the parts of my face, wherever I want to highlight, that is under my eyes, sides of my mouth and the top of my nose, the bridge of my nose and the center of my forehead. That is where I like to be really really nice and bright and highlighted. So I'm just going to really blend it in, make sure the layer is really really thin and it does not look cakey. Then going in with my shampoo or silver shadow compact, I am just setting the concealer and you want to rub, you don't want to slide, there I am telling you not to slide, you don't want to slide the puff, I'm using a powder puff, that is, it is my favorite way of pressing product into your skin, this way your concealer is really going to be set, it sets the concealer really really well, it's not going to move throughout the day and my pro longwear concealer generally has a nice staying power so i'm just going to put this all over wherever i put mac pro longwear concealer this is also one shade lighter than my skin tone so i use this for highlighting purposes as well so i'm just going to put it wherever i put the mac pro longwear concealer if you slide it it will take away the hard work that we all the hard work that we did which is why we pat it into the skin and we don't rub it off now going in with this Body Shop Honey Bronzer, I am just going to bronze the sides of my face. I really really like the center of my face to be nice and bright and highlighted. But for the rest of my face, for the periphery of my face, I like it to be nice and bronzed and it just creates a nice dimension. It gives my face a more 3D look, if you know what I mean. And I'm just, I have a large forehead, as you can see I have a lot of baby hair, I usually wax them off. But I really really wanted to get this video up for you guys, so I just let them be and I am just bronzing the top of my forehead and the sides of my cheek and my jawline and I'm just gonna do it 
actually all across the periphery of my face. That's why I like to be nice and bronzed and I like to keep the center of my face looking nice and bright and highlighted. And I'm just going to blend everything in with the powder puff making sure there are no harsh lines and it looks nice and beautifully blended. Then I'm <laughs> taking something. Apparently something is really really funny. I don't even remember what. <laughs> I'm just going to brush my eyebrows in place with the spoolie and fill my eyebrows with the sleek eyebrow kit which is my favorite. I'm using the eyebrow wax to fill them in and then I'm just going to use a powder to fill them in perfectly and make sure there are no gaps. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time showing my eyebrows because I have a whole tutorial up just on my eyebrows. So if you want to see them in detail, I will link it somewhere in the video. It will also be in the bottom bar. So you can go and check it out. Then take it. Oh my god, that scratch really bothers me. And I, there I am showing you that the packaging falls apart. This is the Sleek Blush by 3 palette, palette in Pink Sprint. And I'm just using the rightmost shade. I think that's a mauve pinky shade. And you don't really need two brushes to apply blush, but I'm crazy that way. Um, it's a really, really pigmented powder, which is why I'm using a duo fiber brush to pick it up. And then I'm just using my bronzer brush to blend it in and make sure there are no harsh edges and it looks beautifully blended. That's what beautiful makeup is all about, blending. Then taking this sleek face contour kit, I'm gonna pick up, I'm just gonna pick up the highlight and highlight wherever I put the highlighting powder before. I'm just highlighting the top part of my cheeks and my cupid's bow. I'm also gonna put some on my chin, my nose and the center of my forehead. You don't wanna go to below your eyes, you just wanna keep it on the cheeks, the high points of your cheeks. Then I'm putting Coco Bear on my bottom lash line because I just thought the bottom lash line could do with a little more pop. And I'm gonna blend it in with just a fatter pencil brush. That's just gonna make it look really nice and blown out. Well, off camera, I applied the Lotus Color Kick Kajal in my lower waterline and I also applied mascara on my lower lashes. Now I'm going to line my lips with this nude lip liner. I'm going to go in with a red lip. If you want, you can apply, apply a red lip liner, but I feel like a nude lip liner gives you more room for error. error. So I'm just going to apply some nude lip liner, shape my lips with that. Taking this Makeup Geek Gold Digger, it's a really beautiful gold. Apparently, I do my makeup in a very weird order. <laughs> This is a gold eyeshadow. I thought the eyes could do with a little more pop. So, and I wanted the inner corners to be really, really bright and highlighted. So I'm just going to take the gold digger shade and put it exactly in my inner corners. And that's just going to make the eyes look really nice and bold and awake. Then taking this Bella Pier lipstick that I got in my fab bag, I am going to apply this lipstick on my lips. This is a nice glossy lipstick. If you are someone who enjoys glossy lipsticks, you will absolutely love this. It is a dream to apply. It is really, really smooth. You probably don't even need a lip balm under it. So I'm just going to apply it on my lips. And I am... So many of you left comments in my fab bag video how to matte out a glossy lipstick. I do that with a ton of my lipsticks. Um, a ton of glossy lipsticks that I have. So for some of you who don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you. You take a little bit of loose powder and a single ply of tissue, put it over your lips. And with a fluffy brush, just put some powder on your lips and that is going to matte out any gloss, glossy lipstick that you may have. There, matte lips. I don't know why I have to pout. <laughs> this is a Tommy G lipstick that I also received in my fab bag. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks of all time. It is a beautiful, beautiful liquid matte red lipstick. And I'm just going to go in and shape my lips with that and fill in my lips with that as well. It's a really beautiful lipstick. It lasts all day. It also has a clear gloss on one end. But I just love the really nice matte, glossy, matte red lip. I hope you enjoyed this video and found my tutorial interesting. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below telling me 
what you would like me to do in the future what sort of makeup looks do you want to see from me i would be happy to do them i have also created an outfit with this look something that you can wear to a party or something that will make you feel extra glamorous and it will be linked down below it will be on my blog my blog is called glamourunited.com i will link it down below so you can go and check it out please let me know what you think subscribe if you're not subscribed already comment below telling me what other looks you want to see from me in the future and i will see you in my next video bye